Building a clean, multi-stage elevator for any robotics project can be a massive engineering challenge. Oh, that's real satisfying. Getting it to be smooth, rigid, and reliable often involves weeks of custom design, sourcing parts, and fabrication. This new two-stage telescoping elevator kit from Offset Robotics aims to take all that complexity off your plate. Today, we're going to take a look at what telescoping tube elevators are. We'll take a look at the build quality and the performance of this kit, and I'll give you my honest take on its performance, the good and the bad, and who this kit is really for. I'm Brogan Pratt, and as a design and technology educator for over 10 years, I know that a good linear motion system is the foundation for so many different projects, from workshop automation to complex robotics. Before we start, a note on transparency. I originally came to find out about this kit from one of my viewers. So I reached out to Offset Robotics and asked if they'd like to send me a kit. The team at Offset Robotics did send this kit over to me so I could check it out and make this video for you, as well as to give them feedback on how to improve the kit. And now for the last few months, we've been interacting uh, with each other, talking about you know things I like about the kit, things I don't like about the kit, and how this can be uh, improved upon over time. My goal here is to give you the straightforward, honest information that you need to decide if this is the right system for your next project. As always, my thoughts and opinions are entirely my own. So I just wanna show you real quick this thing in action. Check out how slick this is for going up. You pull one string, both slides out, you pull one string back, and they both suck their way back in. You can get this thing pretty quick too. So what exactly is a telescoping tube lift? You may have seen these in old school uh, car antenna radios. You may have seen these in selfie sticks or in tripods. But effectively, you have one outer section that has another section interlaced and another section interlaced, almost a bit like a Russian doll, uh, if you've seen those before. So this is Offset's telescoping tube elevator, sometimes called a telescopic linear lift, sometimes called a box tube lift, depending who you talk to. This is the pocketed version. There is a version where the whole thing is unpocketed. I believe it saves you about 80 grams. Uh, it's not a huge amount of weight savings, but it does look a lot cooler. So the whole system here is set up and it's based on three different interspersing uh, box tubes. So you have one stage, which is your bottom stage. You have your middle stage in the middle, and then you have your final stage. This is a one, two, three, or technically two stage moving uh, as is set up. Taking a look at the kit itself, it has three aluminum box tubes. Each one of these box tubes is constrained in two ways. It's constrained with ball bearings on the side, as well as cages on the side here. And these two bearings, as well as the two bearings on the other side, compress against this tube, as do these bearings on these plates here. And as you tighten up these screws, you can increase and decrease the friction on top of this tube. On top of that, each individual and internal stage also has an internal runner that also has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ball bearings running in it. So on the external stage, you also have one, two, three, four running inside. And then internally, you can also see on the inside here that we also have another cage that's on the inside to be able to get another eight ball bearings on the inside of this system. Or actually six on the inside of the top because only one ball bearing uh, runs at the top here as opposed to two on the top up there. When this thing is fully compacted, it is about 35 and a half centimeters long if we don't bend our tape here. As far as I'm aware, this is the only kit on the market that does a, a box tube slide or a telescoping elevator in such a small compact form factor. This system is uh, rigged up in a cascade setting, which means there's two sets of strings. And as you pull one set of strings, both systems pull out at the same time. And when you pull one set of string back, both systems pull themselves back in. Let's zoom out so we can actually see that a little bit better. So as I grab one of these, you can see that both slides move up at the same time. And as I pull one of them back in, it'll pull the top bottom section and then the top section in. At full stroke length, if we were to fully extend this thing out, it has a full stroke length of... 90 centimeters functionally on the two-stage sit, though I do believe they sell an extension kit that adds an additional 30-ish centimeters uh, to your extension. What exactly is the benefit of a box tube lift uh, over something like a linear slide? The nice thing about this one is it has a much lower center of mass, so the real benefit of box tube lift is when you're going to add this onto your robot, 
is if this is going to be pivoting in any way. So you might have a small end effector like a claw attached to this. And as this pivots up, having a lower center of mass compared to a linear slide system allows this to be able to rotate a lot faster. It's also quite a bit more rigid at long stroke lengths. So let's go ahead and get a baseline here with no load on a 1150 RPM motor. Okay, wicked quick, you're looking at a cycle time of about 0.7 seconds. So what do I like about this kit? I like that you get everything you need to be able to assemble a box tube. You don't really have many other uh, fanciness to this, and this is effectively what you get. You get your string. Uh, this is one and a half millimeter uh, UWHM. I can always forget that acronym, but it's quite a strong string and it doesn't stretch. So you get a fantastic and actually really well constructed, quite rigid box tube slide. Uh, there's a lot of mucking around that go into one of the designing one of these. So having a pre-made kit is quite nice. I like it's got quite a long stroke length for what it is, as well as the rigidity of those long stroke lengths. It's quite a bit more rigid at longer stroke lengths than something like a Misumi slide or a Go Build a Viper slide. So if you're just looking for a box two slide, I quite like this kit. But keep in mind, that's all you get. And that's really where some of my gripes with this system uh, comes up. Uh, one thing I'm noticing is that you do definitely have to Loctite in all of these bearings and all the nuts themselves uh, because as i'm noticing in my testing i've got quite a bit more play in my system now after running it for a few hard cycles uh, that i do have to come back up and do these things again that would be nice to have screws that ship with loctite on them because a locking nut here is just not good enough uh, especially with some of the uh, strength and some of the forces that are going to be running through this system another one of my big gripes here the actual stringing of this system although it is cascade strung you can see that you just have to get a little knot on the inside in here. And feeding this string through can be a real pain in the butt. There are quite tight tolerances on getting a string through. Smaller string would help. And then same thing here. You can see that this knot, depending on how thick you make that knot, is actually going to end up sliding on this cut line. Uh, now, depending on how you tension your cascade string, that shouldn't actually happen but it still has that potential for that to happen and having a smaller string is definitely going to make that a lot easier. Getting the proper tension can be a challenge. The offset team does have a setup for a zip tie on here, but it's a little bit of a jank solution in my opinion. Another thing is the assembly time. You can do it, but the assembly time is much longer than a set of linear slides and it requires some additional tuning that linear slides don't actually do in the long run. My biggest gripe with this system, if you're looking for a full system, that as a motor mount you can put on top of this, their documentation is severely lacking. So you definitely need to have uh, quite a bit of assembly knowledge on your own time before you can do this. And it can make it a challenge to get your string properly tensioned. Now I've been in pretty consistent communication uh, with the team here at Offset. And since the time of this recording uh, and the time that I originally got my hands on this kit a few months ago, uh, they've already made a few more improvements. For their, they have uh, increased the uh, strength of these aluminum side plates by going up a few grades uh, in aluminum. They're getting nice and kind of a, a nice, sexy black powder-coated finish, or not powder-coated, sorry, anodized finished uh, as well. Uh, a lot of my gripes with this string being too thick, they've swapped it out for a 1.2 millimeter string. So who exactly is this kit for? If you do have at least a 3D printer and you have some know-how to be able to set one of these up and, and you don't mind uh, fiddling around with how you might attach a motor to the system to be able to drive this system up and down, this is a great kit for you because it takes out a lot of the really challenging part, which is actually designing your own box tube slide. If you are part of an FTC team and you're building a competitive robot that needs some structural integrity, it needs a, a more rigid system, and you want some sort of pivoting end actuator, or perhaps we actually pivot it more like this, uh, you need to pivot and extend. This is a great kit for you because it fits quite well within your distances for competitive robotics. If you want to design your own box tube slide, more power to you. However, this kit has over, you know, 160 individual pieces. And this would honestly take you to something get tuned out months of planning. And if you're on an FTC team and you only get 12 weeks to realistically build one of these, that's not a lot of time. You spend your whole season just on one component as opposed to having something you can really get off the ground and run with. If you're more on the maker and DIY and you want to build any sort of custom project needs a strong, precise, and modular frame, uh, some sort of heavy-duty camera rig, or some sort of complex automation system, uh, 
this is a great erector that should last for quite a long time in whatever project you have. And it's a nice rock solid foundation for you. It basically lets you experiment and build some impressive mechanisms without needing any access to a full machine shop to be able to create these tolerances and really kind of mucking around with these. And everything on here is either stainless steel or aluminum. So it actually probably hold up pretty well outdoors, honestly, if you're going to use the project out there. So after putting this kit together, running it through the paces, what's the final verdict? Well, I did run into a few challenges, which I think are important to be aware of. The overall performance and the quality of this kit are really solid, provided that you have the know-how to create your own powering system. For anyone who needs a reliable multi-stage lift and doesn't want to engineer one from the ground up, it's a great solution and I can recommend it. And the team at Offset Robotics was kind enough to provide a discount code for my viewers. If you decide this kit's right for your next project, you can use the link in the description down below to get 5% off your purchase. It's a great way to save a little cash, and it also helps support the channel so I can keep making videos like this one. I'm generally excited to see how this product evolves because I believe they built a fantastic foundation here. Oh, that's real satisfying.